Guys, how do we not shoot a video today? Man, the sky, it is. Let me flip you around right back here. Blue sky. It is supposed to get to 50, it's supposed to get to 60 degrees today. It's 50 right now. It is January the 26th and I'm like, I can't resist shooting a video. It is a beautiful day today. And let's go over here where we're gonna work and I'll show you what we're doing. This has always, down through here, has just always been a dead space. Uh, and just nothing, we kept it sprayed, uh, and so on. And there was a fence right across here, and then uh, that was just all closed off down through there. So we've decided, or my wife did, that she wanted to utilize this area. So we're gonna come through here, and we're gonna put uh, double gates up right here. We're going to put some double gates up right here. And there's gonna be double gates up right here. And so we're gonna make a couple, let's see, one, two small playgrounds right here for uh, small children. They don't need a lot of area to get too far away from you. And so we're gonna do that and then it's going to be mulched and so we're in the process of this. We've already got like, you can see the fencing going down through there and coming on up. We're replacing a bunch of the fencing that got in bad shape. So that's what Mark and I are working on today. We've been working on it off and on, just trying to pick days that the weather's good yesterday was good and we worked a little while we're gonna work all day today out here and working on doing this we're gonna build gates wide enough that the tractor can come through and uh, or we can you know mulch all this get it good and smooth and nice for the kids put some uh, playground equipment back here then we also wanted it double gated all the way down through there so wide enough for the tractor to come through so like air conditioner units and things like that if we have to replace those you know we can bring them in and out with the tractor with the front forks on the tractor right here as you see the Kubota so that just kind of brings you up to what we got going on and we just do this from time to time as the weather's good and you know for it to be uh, January the 26th and gonna be 60 degrees better take advantage of these days and I want to get out and soak up a little sunshine and get out of that house from painting. We got some of our, I know there's a bunch of you tool guys, I get a bunch of calls or comments about tools and things like that. Had a comment come in yesterday, do you still have the Milwaukee 12? Of course there's the DeWalt 20, I've got another 20. And, but um, yes, we're using these. We've been using the 60 volt circular saw. Love it. Smooth. Man, it's smooth. Cuts good. You can see he's uh, concreting the poles in. But this is one of them deals like my wife don't normally see these videos unless I show them to her. And this is one of those she don't need to see. Because sometimes, you know, she'll tell me, I believe if you'd leave that YouTube and that camera alone, you could do twice as much work. 
Well, Mark and I are fixing to play right here a little bit because we're going to put some lag bolts in with this 12 volt. And we're going to put some in with this 20 volt DeWalt, which has the speeds. So we'll put one in on one, two, and three. Now, this is not an experiment. This is not a comparison test. This is strictly playing for your entertainment. 12 volt, 6.0 battery. I'm gonna tell you, that ain't nothing to be ashamed of right there, man. That sucker's stout for a 12 volt. We're on number one, 20 volt. And it don't say which one this is, if this is a 1.5 or a two ounce battery, I don't know. But anyway, and we're on number one. It's a what? Two amp. It's a two ounce battery. Now this is one of the things that I like about this. Like we've got it on number one, and when it gets to where it can't, it'll quit, and then it'll go to doing your impact. Now we're going to number two. Short one. No joke. Number three. Going to the number three setting. And this will be too fast. Boom. <laughs> that's all she wrote. Like I said, guys, that's not a test. It's just playing. Okay, guys, we were just putting these in the four before with the 20 volt on the number two setting. And that's what gets me with them things. I think we'll put them in with the Milwaukee. Look, snapped it right off. I mean, it gave us no warning. It was just, when it got tight, it was kind of in a knot right there a little bit, just snapped it off. So you can see how Mark opens and closes those. There's also gonna be a third level down at the bottom. We just kind of wanted to mount one post on. We're not going to do the rest of them just to show you what it's going to be because we're actually going to put a two before on the back of this back here. Take one of those turn buckles, you know, that you put up there and you tighten them up. We'll attach it to that post, come down, that'll pull that door up straight. So, but anyway, we just wanted to give you an idea of what we were doing. Mark and I are going to say, see you later. Guys, I couldn't stop the video or end the video until I told you this. We put in 77 lag bolts. And look, four bars, full bars. And I even put some lag bolts in that were longer than the other ones. That is highly impressive, guys. I mean, that little thing right there, that little 12 volt with that six amp hour battery, this thing impresses me every time we go out. We're going to end this video. We appreciate you hanging out with us. And I can't tell you how relieved I am and how much weight has been taken off of me by this guy right here. And he has a super attitude. He's happy all the time, good mood. Of course, I've known Mark a long time. We just had to work out a deal for him to work with me. And uh, so this is just a great relationship. He and I are going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do a lot of things this summer. We're going to try to take some breaks and do some kayak fishing and things like that. Mm. But uh, he and I would just want to say, say so long to you. We want to say thank you for watching. We thank you for all your thumbs up, your likes, your comments. And we will see you next week. Next time.